Hey there, Graham. Hey, everybody. Graham, I got a question for There's something, you got something on your other side. Okay, yeah, yeah, you got it. Um, sorry, everyone, I just had to, there's something. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> Graham, uh, the, the Royals played an interesting hand. <laughs> Graham won't say a word. He really wants to. Um, I'm waiting for the Freddie Mercury joke. No. No. Nope. Let's play bridge. Let's play bridge. Yeah. So this is a hand the Royals played recently, and um, the results were split. And I believe um, it came down to one really important decision. I wanted to see yeah. if you could yeah, explain. Me. Oh, no. <laughs> I knew he had to. So, sorry. sorry. Anyway, so the results were really split between um, – uh, folks who won one more trick than the other group. And uh, so I wanted to get, see if you could lead us through it. Is this something we can take a lesson from or is it just the way that the cookie crumbled with this hand? Okay, let's take a look. All right. All right, so here we are. Um, almost everyone ended up playing this hand uh, in either two hearts or uh, four hearts, but um, I, let's just, not focusing on the auction for this particular question, just the first two tricks wanted to get your, just to hear from you how, how you think we should play it. Okay. Well, so Jack of Diamonds, not much to do here. We just play low from Dummy. East is going to have the Ace of Diamonds, for okay. sure. West wouldn't have led the Jack if he had the Ace, so there's... That's great. So we play the eight here. And that's great. It turns our king and queen into winners. Now here, here it is. And a, a few um, a few players, I think, uh, noticed that this was an important decision. Do, right. what, what do we do here and why does it matter? Well, if we, we've lost one diamond. There's no way we can avoid losing two spades. Right. So that's three tricks we're going to lose. Yeah. Uh, we're either going to lose no clubs or one club or two clubs. If, so for example, suppose East has led, suppose East has the ace of clubs. If East has, has the ace of clubs, then we can win the king of clubs in the south hand, draw trumps, and then play two rounds of diamonds throwing away one of those clubs. Right. If West has got the king of clubs... The ace when of we, clubs. Uh, sorry, yeah, West has got the ace of clubs. When we play the king of clubs, West is just going to play the ace and... We are probably going to lose two club tricks. Hmm. Uh, if we play a low club from the south end, then it, a little bit, I mean, we should play low, but it depends who's, which hand is the dummy. So because south is clearer here, hmm. north is the dummy. So if south plays low, west can see the five and the four of clubs in the dummy. Right. West can so, see that the jack is already going to win. Right. So there's really playing the three of clubs here. That's just going to, the jack's going to win the trick. There's no way he's going to play the ace. So, you know, strange things happen. Sometimes the defense mess up or what have you. Meaning the ace would stay out there and we might just end up back in this situation later on. If we play oh, low. Right. If we play low, West is just going to probably play another club. So we're going to lose two club tricks. Hmm. So now it may be that we play low and East switches to something else. Maybe, but unlikely. Hmm. Uh, I think the most likely, our best bet here is to hope that East has got the ace of clubs. And uh, 
East might have the ace of clubs. I mean, she might be trying to fool us here. She might be just trying, she might be hoping that we play low, even though she's got the ace. Mm. We don't know. But I, I'm just going to play the king of clubs and cross my fingers. It's really, you know, you could play low and hope, but I'm going to play the king. If that wins, that's great. Loses, too bad. Now, our only chance now is that, okay, so we've lost two club tricks and we're going to lose two spade tricks as well. Here we go. Two spade tricks. That's it. You know, there's nothing. What can we do? Right. We can draw trumps now. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that because... Um, I wouldn't, yeah, I would have drawn trumps now. The danger of playing the king of diamonds and the ten. Oh, sorry, I didn't even realize what I clicked on. I was still following okay. suit. <laughs> uh, Nothing you can do about that hand. Right. Really. So some people, with some people, maybe West led the ace of clubs or in which case they didn't lose a club trick. But that's what we did is a perfectly normal way to play the hand and we're going to end up making two and there's no sensible way we could make three. You know, you could play this hand a million times, or well, maybe not a million times, but you could play this hand ten times and yeah. try and find some way to make, you know, try and make some bid or do something to find a way to make, East and West play different cards, but it's just not realistic. You're wasting mm. your time. We played mm. the hand perfectly well. Right. Finding some weird way that happens to make three tricks because you can, you know, the defense mess up, that's not, that's not helpful. Mm. Mm. All right. So, so a, a, a follow up question. I, this is a larger, a larger issue for us learning bridge. But how can we recognize, like, how can we recognize that this is one of those instances where it's just how the cookie crumbles? Um, it is that when we're, when East leads to this, we should know to play lower. Well, okay, so I'm going to ask two questions then. One, um, can you think of anything we could have done differently. I, I, it, I mean, we could have played low, but I can't think why, especially after hearing you explain it. It doesn't make sense to play low. Okay. We could so, have, but. Doesn't make sense, does it? Uh, Actually, so actually, I've only got one question. <laughs> that was the only question. <laughs> but the, so, but the important thing is I, the follow-up comment to that one question is that sometimes that just happens, mm. and you have to recognise that sometimes there's nothing you can do, and it's the same with bidding. Mm. You know, I, some people think that um, bridge is an exact sign, so mm. you're going to bid exactly to the right to the right contract all the time. And mm. If you don't get the right contract, you've done something wrong. Mm. But if you play the best card, you're always mm. going to get the best score. Mm. It's just simply not how bridge works. It just does not go like that. You you just mm. play it again and you hope to get more good scores than bad scores. You know, that makes me recognize my own thought process when I was contemplating this question. I was only thinking about I was worrying about what I was supposed to do instead of just looking at the information on the table and guessing, okay, well, where might the ace be? If West has the ace, is it likely to come out? I wasn't reasoning for myself. I was worrying too much about what <laughs> the rule or what the, right. you know, the easy catchphrase that I might not be remembering might be. Right. Those catchphrases, I mean, they they get you thinking in the right manner, mm. but they're not the bridge rules. That's not what that's not what you want, want to be doing at the end. 
take for example this business about always returning your partner's suit mm. right so everyone learns that your partner leads a suit and you always return your partner's suit right that's what you learn and the principle behind that is good because if your partner's attacking one suit then it makes sense that you you're both attacking the same suit you're working together right but not always sometimes your partner's made a lead that didn't, didn't turn out so well mm. or maybe your partner's just leading to find your suit or you know maybe there's just a better choice mm. but if you you know if you learn that rule oh yeah i'm always supposed to return my partner's suit and you're always thinking of that rule and not actually looking at the cards on the right. table right right you got to look right. at the cards right 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 i mean if it was simply a matter of you know learning all these rules because there's only like what return your partner's suit lead forth the longest and strongest never lead away from you know you could rattle off eight or nine rules mm. ten mm -hmm. and then that would be it and then you'd be just doing those rules and then i don't know bridges. you get to stop thinking yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. but you're not going to get far like you're not going to mm. get far like that mm -hmm. so um yeah just yeah. Ah, well, thank you, Graham. I, I was I was puzzling over that, and um, I I also want to thank the the players out there who brought attention to that particular question about um yeah is there a lesson to be learned the fact that some, depending on how people played that club they ended up one up one down but we all play it the best we can look at the info on the table that's what we do. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Graham. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Rock on. <laughs> See ya.